Hi, I'm Dave Wright, and these are my notes from the field. Few animals represent a place more completely than native salmon along the Pacific coast. Their yearly migrations have been a part of coastal cultures for thousands of years, and whole economies revolve around salmon. They're a critical food source for people in nature. At the same time, salmon support the greater ecosystem by supplying nutrients to hundreds of plants and animals, but overfishing and harmful land and water management practices have taken a toll. Coho salmon populations in California are now down to less than 1% of their historic numbers, and a changing climate is only making matters worse. California is a place of extremes. We can go from drought to flooding in a matter of hours, and without proper habitat, these shifts are deadly for salmon. One serious threat coho face is a lack of winter habitat. Water levels often increase in winter, and that means rivers flow faster and stronger. Without places to take refuge and feed when rivers run high, young fish can't survive. Studies have shown that important coho watersheds like the Garcia and Ten Mile Rivers only have about 5% of the winter salmon habitat they once had. So TNC decided to change that. We partnered with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, the National Marine Fisheries Service, and other amazing organizations to design habitat restoration projects for the Ten Mile and Garcia Rivers and we began our work on the Ten Mile River. This river once curved in multiple channels that were filled with trees and natural debris that slowed down flows and protected salmon. But decades of farming, logging, road building, and erosion turned it into a single high-speed stream that flowed directly into the ocean. We worked with Pernensky Chatham and Wailati Construction to restore some of the river's natural features that salmon rely on. Before construction began, we moved sensitive aquatic species from coho salmon themselves to red-legged frogs out of harm's way to a safe location nearby. Then we made huge piles of trees called log jams. These help create the backwaters where young fish take refuge during winter storms. And they do double duty by giving cover to young salmon underwater in the dry season. The log jams can be up to 40 feet tall, and in order to create them, Wailati used heavy-duty excavators to move the logs in place. They also got a little help from my dog, Jet. Then we made massive open areas, some the size of a football field, to provide slow-moving water during big storms. These backwaters also create wetlands and reconnect the river to the floodplain. Additionally, these areas make all-you-can-eat bug buffets for salmon when waters rise. We did this work at 12 different points throughout the 10 Mile River watershed, making enough winter habitat to support thousands of young fish, and we're already seeing great results. Surveys are showing that many young coho are using these restoration areas and pigging out at the buffet. Look at the belly on this one. The bigger the young fish are when they go out to sea, the greater the chance they will survive and make it back to the 10 mile to spawn as adults. In some previous years, less than 100 salmon returned to the 10 mile to spawn. But in the winter of 2021, over 2,400 came back. Now, we've set our sights on the Garcia River, where we'll be installing similar salmon habitat enhancements to help thousands more fish. Working on these rivers has been an amazing experience. But last year, I retired from the Nature Conservancy and passed the torch to Peter Vandenberg for the next phase of restoration. Hi, I'm Peter Vandenberg. In the long term, these restoration projects will serve two purposes. They'll help salmon and trout, and they'll help keep our coasts resilient in the face of climate change. As the sea level rises, Habitat like this will allow the wetlands that insulate our coasts from storms to move inland and continue to protect the freshwater and coastal ecosystems we all rely on. For more information on our work, visit nature.org California.